We're getting ready to go to the Airbnb. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the Airbnb. I'm not gonna lie, it's small, but it has the essentials, so it's gonna do the job. The husband point of view of this whole thing, you know, like what I have to do as a BBL member. Uh, I'm not getting a BBL, but you know, she's getting a BBL and uh, I'm here to support all the way through. The bigger the better. That's all I can say. So, I didn't pick this shit. She did. I, I. But in my defense, it had great reviews on Airbnb, and... and I'm getting high at the moment because she sprayed the whole fucking... <laughs> I had to disinfect the place a little bit. Okay. It's a little bigger than my cell. <laughs> when I was in prison. Tomorrow's the big day. You know. It won't be the same booty after tomorrow. Or after today. The shower is giving, uh, it's decent. Are you nervous for me? Shower giving decent. And I needed a step in one. Yeah. Are you nervous for me? Not really. You'll be okay. I'm praying for you. I think you'll be all right. I guess somewhere in this Airbnb, they told her it was another bed. They lied. <laughs> Bum, bum. didn't lie, but that bitch small as fuck. And tonight, I just want to let you guys to know, will be the last time I clap those cheeks. He's not clapping. Because he ain't clapping. You not clapping cheeks tonight. You crazy as fuck. No. Why am I going to risk pregnancy with they pull my surgery? I'm going to pull out. Come here. That's a lie. I'm pulling out. This is going to be the first time ever if he does. Anyway. So, can, I'm getting then cheeks Then let me get No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shit out your eye. I'm getting cheeks I don't care about recording. I'm getting cheeks tonight. You know I'm getting cheeks tonight. I'm gonna hit them cheeks one more time. You know I'm hitting them cheeks one more time for the one time. All right, I will. She's capped out. Trust me. You got. If you know me, you know me. I'm clapping cheeks. Hit them cheeks one more time. That's all. All right now. All right, I'm supposed to. I wanted to cut off my eating and drinking at 10 30 but because we moved and got things going a little later than i had anticipated i'm just trying to maximize my eating and drinking right now i'm honestly full but i'm still trying to just at least eat like one or two more slices of the pizza just so i don't wake up hungry because i cannot eat or drink anything so i'm literally gonna chug this body armor chug a whole bottle of uh essential water and that's it. Tomorrow, 7.30 a.m., I will be at Mia Aesthetics. The last thing she'll be eating tonight after that will be me. Um, I use the Hibiclantins, Hibiclantins, whatever, um, to take a shower and it does dry you out but it's not too bad like if you ever showered with iris spring in your life you'll be okay i put it on my face i'm not sure if i was supposed to but i figured like i want to just be clean everywhere so when i bathe when i shower again i'm probably not going to do my face again because oh baby <laughs> Amen. Amen. Okay, it's 7 16 a.m. And we're five minutes away from the surgery center. My face feels so dry. Oh my god, my body feels so dry. Babe, say hi. What's up? He's going to drop me off and he's gonna be running little errands while I'm in there. Have my robe on, my little loose dress. You sent me the address already? Yes. All right, I will record when I can. Bye. We're here.
Babe, final words for the camera. I love you and you'll be okay. I love you too. All right, I'll see y'all on the other side, okay? Pray for me. So I have my IV in and now I'm just waiting on the doctor. My IV is just for hydration. And she told me my heart was beating at like 166 or something like that or something like that. I'm like, I don't even feel that nervous. Now that, me knowing that makes me nervous because <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And I asked her what's the norm. She said like 70, 70, 80-ish or something, that kind of range. And I'm in 160 something. I'm just sitting here trying to stay calm and breathe and God got me so it is what it is ain't no turning back now took some pictures of me I'm, I'm shopping for her right now so so far this is what we got we got organic pineapple juice chunks of pineapple Pedialyte uh, I got her a pack of water but I'm also buying her some alkaline water you know the correct pH so that's what I feel like she should drink. I look you want to get her more, more of those and I'm less of the regular water, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous for her. I didn't want to scare her, so, you know, I was P.O.P. in it, holding it down. But me, her, and my mom, we said a prayer this morning, so, you know, we walk by faith, not by sight. Praying she be a okay. Um, I gotta get a couple more things on her list. I think Benadryl, some pads, and I really don't remember the other one right now. Oh, anti-inch ice cream. I feel like I look already got. I don't really come to Whole Foods like that. She does. So to me, a lot of this shit is foreign. Um, Whole Foods got their own brand. You guys can see and this is just for right now because we don't have a big fridge where we at so i'll probably be running back behind again grabbing some more stuff for signing out all right so as you can see we had target come and get benadryl benadryl domino pads all right I've been riding around all day looking for this girl's meds. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you getting this shit done, if your girl getting this shit done, bro, make sure when they do that pre-op shit, it's the day before the surgery. So y'all got a day, a whole day before to figure out where to get her meds from, bro. So when she got her surgery, she got her shit. I've been looking for her meds since about 12 o'clock. It is 3.56 right now. It's 4 o'clock. Still no meds. But we know we finally found a spot that got them. It's going to take about an hour for the prescription to get there. So, there you go. Good luck to those out there that got this shit coming their way. And what a help is having a nurse. Because we got a nurse. She's back there at the room helping my wife out. While I'm out here stressfully looking for her. The medicine. So you know what I'm saying. I'm tired of shit. Can't even cap. I was hungry and shit. I, I had a meal. I ended up letting the nurse get it because I knew I was gonna be gone and she was gonna be sitting there. So yeah. The life of a husband with the wife. I got a BBL. For all them niggas out there, all right, my bad, watch my language. For all them people out there, good luck. This shit ain't as sweet as it seems. And if you in Miami too, which most people do come to, man, be careful out here because these people can't drive, bro. All right, don't let them bully you on the road either. Sometimes you gotta you gotta act like you're ready to play bumper cars with them because they really don't know how to drive. I know my wife probably already stressed this, but I'm going to stress it. Don't just save your money for your BBL. 
make sure you got a nice room or a whole Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got funds just in general because you never know what you might have to get last minute. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. So, signing out. Um, earlier you'll see I, I recorded her for a little bit when we first got her. She was going through some pain and we had to help her out the car so I couldn't really record. But when I get back in the crib, I'm going to record her. And I'm gonna make her get her little YouTube page back going. So yeah, we're gonna keep y'all in tune. Don't worry about it. Okay, you gotta uh, kind of go back on crouch on your knees and kind of come back slow and like slide down. You okay, babe? Yeah. Are right, you ready? Huh? Huh? Make it slide it out a little bit. Hold on, wait, baby. Uh, you all right? We're gonna slide this thing back a little bit for you. you all right, okay. All right, you can try from there now. Kind of slide down and crunch your knees and come down. That thing look different already. <laughs> oh, your mama calling me. Don't answer right now. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Once you get this part right here, you're going to be laying down in the thing. I'm so weak. Huh? Just breathe real quick, babe. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going on your little YouTube page right here. All that little shit you was talking about. You got it, babe. You got it, babe. You got it, babe. You got it. I ain't gonna be able to record this. I gotta help you. Okay. I was making my calls to all my friends and family because they didn't see my face all day. But anyways, um, yeah, earlier I just I couldn't phys I physically just could not hold my phone. I didn't even know where my phone was at the time, and it was I, it was it was pretty painful. Um, it was really hard to lay down and get comfortable, but now I feel good, and I just hope between all the stuff I have, I just don't get feel any. Or feel too much pain. My ass just feels like it's on fire. And I have a nurse here with me while Teddy goes to get my meds. You guys, this shortage out here in Miami is no joke. He went to four different places and couldn't find it. So thank God he did now. And he should be coming here soon. And he can record more for me because I'm tired and my hand's getting tired. So I'll talk to you guys later. How you feel right now? I feel tired. But I feel pretty good. I'm not like in crazy pain. My butt just feels really sore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give to the next person right now? <laughs> um... Just be prepared. Have everything together. And if you can get pain meds away from Miami, do that. Yeah, I already made a video saying that. From the husband side of the fence, though. Does my butt look nice? I ain't see it yet, but it looked like it's poking. You alright? 
Uh, the edible helped so much with my appetite. That's how I was able to eat those four bites, I'm sure. And what, like did you eat the, which edibles you ate? You ate the, the Sour Patch ones? The gummy one. The ones? I only ate one. The one I, for me? No. Mm -hmm. I felt like those were too little. I wanted a, something else. Well, Is it four? Or can I take another? It's almost four. Days. It's four fifteen right now. Was just, it? It wasn't at four that I could take something. Just four, relax, four, six, babe. Six, relax. Six, you you hurt? You need it right now. You feel like you need that? Like right. my butt is is so sore. I can't. Even, can I look at it? Mm. Not the skin, but can I just? Lift up the road. Yeah. Cause I ain't even get a chance to <laughs> see the move. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't. Even... Okay. I could tell that shit bleeding though, cause yeah, you could you could see like where it's where that. Mm, okay. Get that thing a test drive when it heal up. For sure. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to add that the throat thing is true. Like my throat doesn't hurt, but it's very like hazy, a little scratchy. Like I could definitely tell there was a tube down that bitch. So I have halls that I've been using biting, sucking on, and it's been helping. But it's not like painful, it's just a little uncomfortable and scratchy. I just took at, babe, what time is it? 8.09. At eight, I took a pain, a pain killer, pain pill, whatever you wanna call it. And I have to wait six hours again to take another one. I think it was like until I think the timer's for two a.m. But uh, yeah, I feel pretty okay. I'm just super drowsy and tired. Um, I see why people don't record much on the first day because it's literally sleeping, getting up every now and again to um you know walk around you have to walk around to prevent blood clots and stuff so that's all it's really been like sleeping a lot but overall i know it might look like i'm like suffering or whatever but i'm really not in that much pain and i'm so happy that I can lay down like more comfortably than when I first got here. My bed at home is so high up, so I'm praying by the time we leave here on Saturday that I have a little more like, that I can like stretch a little more. I have a stepping stool and everything even to get on this bed and it's way lower than mine and I needed the stepping stool, so. I get out of breath so fast. Everything is draining. <laughs> like, you holding this phone, getting out the bed, everything is very draining, but it just honestly feels like I did so many push-ups and so many sit-ups. It's, I will say though, aside from when I first, first woke up, so far, the pain has been very manageable, especially because I'm staying on top of my meds. Oh my God, y'all. I told the nurse when I first got there, I'm like, my my tongue ring closes really fast. So I wanna wait till the last second. Tell me why I'm on the OR table. And she was like, oh, your nose ring. I was like, fuck, not only my nose ring, but I have a freaking tongue ring in. So she had to take it out for me. Y'all, the ball fell in the back of my throat. I had to sit up, I was like, <laughs> I thought I swallowed it. 
but it came up the second little hack um yeah, that was crazy when he was running around doing stuff i would have been here by myself you know so i recommend definitely having two people and a lot of people say oh you don't need a nurse you don't need a nurse i like having a nurse they take um they record my vitals they write down all my meds all the times i should be taking them it's just more organized and less stress i feel you know they give you directions on how to take the meds if you need to eat if you don't need to eat when you should take them so far i've taken one percocet but i was doing them in halves because they were perc 30 so i had one whole one technically today but in the moment i cut them in half and then i had i forget what this one is hydrocodone something like that i don't know i think that's how you say it but i just had the first one like i said i ate so far no nausea which i'm really grateful for because i can't imagine like feeling like i have to throw up and stuff my stomach is really tight so i i just feel like that like the, just the action of throwing up would have been so painful. But yeah, guys, I'm doing really well. My first post-op appointment is tomorrow. At six, I have to be there by 6.30. He's been doing such a good job being really supportive, feeding me and everything. I love that meme. <laughs> okay. Guys, I just took my first pee. It was really not cool. I pretty much just had to pee on myself. And that's when, for the first time, I started seeing blood. Like, this whole time I haven't really seen any blood, but I was bleeding a lot when I peed. Um, I'm putting back on my compression socks now. Well, my nurse is not me. Um, my eyes are so crusty. And yeah, I just took half of a painkiller. Which cheese you want? This one first? And I'm about to eat some cheese. And crackers. I don't care about anything. Um, cheese and crackers. I just drank some pineapple juice. This pineapple juice from Whole Foods is so freaking good. Turkey or ham? Turkey. But. Oh. I have all that stuff, all the padding in my butt. So it looks all lumpy right now. I'm just ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> mm. I feel so smelly. Oh, I also used my wipes today to wipe myself down. Which wipes did we end up using? Was it the water wipes or the dude wipes? I used the water wipes. Okay, the water wipes. Look at me. I don't gotta see your titties. I'm good. How you feeling? Good. Tired. I'm tired of being force fed. I'm not <laughs> hungry anymore. Ain't nobody you force fed. Sushi. It's like you like set up. You like waited for Show me to get the plate. camera to do this. Show them my food. Now nah, she ate. He wants me to eat all of that and I'm already full. No, first of all, this wasn't even that much. And this is all day. A all day plate pretty much because she still ain't finished it. I drank a good amount of pineapple juice. Let me a couple see. slugs of water. So I didn't even have, but it's all right. Um, you know, shout out to the nurse. Hi. Did you ask if she was okay being okay? Hey. Yeah, she's been amazing helping me. Um, I haven't really been bleeding that much, but I haven't taking off the faha, so I don't know what it's gonna be like when I do. 
and really I just been in and out of sleep and that's really it to be honest I'm not in crazy pain it's just like my skin feels like tight and a little burny if that makes sense like um, but I'm okay that's it Signing out. Talk to the people. Mm. If your girlfriend, wife, whatever she is, you're getting a video, be prepared to go half crazy that day. Are you nervous for me or scared for me? I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> I was definitely worried about being scared. I just didn't want to tell you this morning. So I was on the phone with Lisa and Mike. Worried as fuck. What? What time did I get back? You probably got back here like around 11 something. Oh wow, that's fast. So that went, I went at 7.30. And you know, I did all the paperwork and all the tests. Like, I, all I had to do was pee. They didn't draw blood for any labs or anything. But, um, you know, just to check me for like nicotine and stuff. Which, by the way, THC is okay to have in your system. She was not mad at it. That <laughs> I don't know. They didn't tell me. I think it's on my paperwork. But I did tell her that I had an edible on Christmas, and she was like, "That's fine." But I'm about to eat some cheese and crackers, and probably fall asleep again because I still today just drains me. I need. have mercy. Mm mm mm. Today drained me. And then has to do another store run. For the shower liner, shower liner, peroxide, stuff like that. Don't over. shush me. Time over no, I wanted to eat one cracker on camera. Oh, yeah. mm. I'm gonna take heavenly. <laughs> it tastes so good. Oh my god. That's the best packed grease and cheese I've ever tasted. Alright, bye. Oh my god, it tastes so good. Alright. It is day one post op. You guys, literally, one of the hardest things about this is getting up. It's so hard to push yourself up. It's so hard. It takes everything out of you just to get up. Today I'm doing a little better. I was able to walk around a little by myself. Um, every like I've run out of breath so quick. Peeing is such a disaster. Like peeing. Okay, let me just walk you guys through my day. I had a post op, my first post op appointment this morning. At 6 30 in the morning I was a little late because everything just it moves in slow motion just getting in the car was like 15 minute process like everything is just a process you have to take your time or you're gonna hurt yourself um we got there I don't know what time exactly but it was a quick appointment. The doctor checked all my incisions and, and took pictures and she said I looked really good. Everything was looking good. I'm not going to lie. This surgery center is has really pissed me off today. And that, I'm going to just make a whole separate video. Another video for another day. But... I'm just really sore. And so they, when I went to the post-op appointment, they took off, took off my faha. And so like my skin is actually out, which feels really weird. Um, now we're just waiting on the massage lady. I'm definitely gonna take a painkiller before the massage. And then after that, my nurse is coming to help me shower, take my first shower, and then I'll put in my foams 
my lipo foam and my eye board today. And then that's really it. Um, I ate a little more today. I ate like two or three chicken tenders and a piece of a sandwich. And I've been drinking pineapple juice. So how you feel? Sore. My throat hurts more today than yesterday. Um, I don't know. The massage, I was really happy she even massaged my neck because my neck was so sore from sleeping like this. But I feel better today. After the massage, it kind of hurt, but it kind of felt like good after. Um, my shower wasn't bad. It was a little painful, like, under my boobs, but it wasn't bad. I just been eating a lot of halls and drinking pineapple juice, and I finally showed them the drops. I finally did the drops today in my water. The massage lady said I could do that once, once a day. I ate an edible and a half, like... 30 minutes ago, maybe an hour. I don't know, my time is real off, so don't quote me. <laughs> That's all I have to say, unless you have to ask me something. Nah, who do you love? You. I know it.